school pitcher. Matter of fact, he was projected to be the preseason. Big South effort. Campbell has been erratic all weekend. Ground ball to first. Christian has it. And the underhand to box rucker, and it's not in time. And you hit the nail on the head, Jay. We've seen some inconsistent performances back in the day in high school. Ropes this one down the left field line. Extra bases written all over that. Mississippi State leads it early, 1-0. James gallops into second base. Twelfth double of the season easy. for Cameron James. And they made it look easy. Rowdy Jordan gets on base, and then either Allen moves him over, and James brings him in. That's Mississippi State Bulldog baseball. And one thing we've noticed, any ball hit to left field is a double. Mississippi State program flushed. Those two 10-run rule, ten run rule setbacks. Ball gets away. It's 2-0 State. James touches home plate. You mentioned it when James was in the batter's box. He's one of the guys that sets the table with stolen bases for Mississippi State, and he steals third. Aaron throw down. Look at the jump that he gets. Run and start. Makes it in there easily and puts another run on the scoreboard. And Hancock walks on four straight. Grounded left side, could be two over to second, and to first in time for the double play. De La Cruz doing a nice job at the hot corner. Three straight balls from Fristo, make it four. Bryce Arnold, the leadoff man aboard for Campbell. They give Neto an easy fastball. Two aboard now for Campbell. Arnold at second, Neto at first. And popped up to deep right. Harris going back. He's at the track. And it's wow. gone. Spencer Packard with a moonshot. Campbell grabs a first inning lead. 11th of the season for 25 in white as he touches them all. And a resounding shot for the team from the Big South. We said it wouldn't be pretty. They needed the bats to give him a chance down here in Starkville. And... A great job of hitting by Packard, the senior from Arizona. Gets under one. He doesn't know if he's got enough. But you see the swing, a little bit of an uppercut. Launches it out of the stadium for the home run, putting the Camels with an early day. Leading Mississippi State in the bottom of the first inning as Wolf was being. Well, we thought they would be two games and out as poorly as they looked in that opening era. You miss with the location. Struck him out. First strikeout for Mississippi State pitching and a big second out in the bottom of the first. Who's out in the left field lofts. Called strike three. Harris can't believe it. Back to back strikeouts for Houston Harding, but the damage is done. You want to keep him clean so you can minimize the damage that he can do. Speaking of, two out hit the right field for Tanner Allen. And that'll keep you the inning alive that. for the three hole hitter, Cameron James. 1 0 to James, a fastball that's ripped. Deep left field. Just like that, here comes MSU. Another home run for Cameron James, and the Bulldogs are back on top. The Cowbells come to life in Starkville. Fastball down the middle. Look at the location of this pitch. Able to turn on it. You see that? Gets the extension. Got the twist. Missed inside and high. 3-1 to Hancock. Low and away. Inning continues. It's to play their style of baseball. Lace in the left field. That'll fall. Inning continues. First hit for Tanner today. 
Fly ball, line drive, left field. And the ballpark will just barely hold it as Packard tracks it down. How much fun is it to hear the roars back? A flare to left. And another hit, the first for Compass today, and the third of the Starkville Regional. Leadoff man reaches for Mississippi State. Big pitch, box rucker misses low. As you mentioned, he started a game already in this series. Ground ball to third, De La Cruz to second in time for one, and it's dropped at wow. first, no double play. And we've been praising Campbell's infielders so far today until that mistake, and that's a costly one. Instead of getting out of the inning, they'll bring up the SEC Player of the Year in Tanner Allen. Yeah, the defense has been playing great. De La Cruz does a good job of initiating the double play, and that's just, that's just an error by Christian on first base. You have to make that just a simple catch to get out of the inning. How do you have to be anticipating something big is going to happen? That gets away from Marcus Gundrich. Coming home is Cumbus, 5-3, Mississippi State. Chassis walks Allen. And the inning will continue, Jay, for Cameron James, who's two for two. Payoff coming. To the hot corner, De La Cruz flips and fires in time, and Chassis escapes further damage. A payoff once again from Harrington to Tanner. Swung on and hit to right field. Just like that, it's gone. A home run for Logan Tanner, and the hard-hitting catcher makes it a 6-3 to three score. As my guy again, when you get him going, good things are happening for Mississippi State. Swayze Field comes to mind as well, but in Oxford. Flair that'll be caught by Colin Wolf. Had that one played perfectly behind the bag at second. The center field penthouse. I want to go to the penthouse. Jordan will probably be there one day. Rifles a shot to deep right. And slides in safely at second base, and that is Rowdy Jordan in a nutshell. Making things happen on the base paths, each and every at-bat. You had to be careful with Cameron James at the same time. He's got a couple of extra base hits already today, including that two-run blast in the third. Two outs with two aboard. Deuce is wild. Ground ball. Neto backhands it. Flips to second. And he drug his second baseman off the bag. Colin Wolf had it for his second. And we'll see if they take a look at this. It was a close play. Neto did all he could to stop it from getting into the outfield. And that'll prevent a run for the time being. And let's see. I think they got it right there. <laughs> Harding, who has been lights out with 10 strikeouts. Colin Wolf bunts it to first. What a play. And he's going to reach. Leadoff man aboard in the first hit since back in the third inning for Campbell. Press the reset button after a slow start. Christian hammers this one into left field. That'll get by James for a base knock. Back-to-back -back hits for Campbell. And the fighting Camels trying to chip away at this three-run deficit. Line drive, left field, fair baseball. One run is in. Christian right behind Colin Wolf, make it six to five. The slide into second base, and he's out. Campbell's back in it, but a costly mistake on the base paths. Gives us the second out in this frame. Wow, well, Scundridge pulled one down the line. James not able to get to it. And most of the balls hit left field have resulted in doubles, but you see the ricochet comes right. Do you, do you question decision now by Lamonis to pull to pull Houston Harding, considering he had struck out Scunridge twice? 
called strike three. A big punch out for Preston Johnson. Ground ball to second. Weird hop and into right field. Well, I'm not sure how that happened, but when you're the SEC player of the year, you get the breaks, and he got one there. Flair to second. Wolf's up with it. We've got a one-run game headed to the bottom of the ninth inning. Six to five, Mississippi State. And a pinch hitter checks Whoa. in. That's all the way to the wall. And a leadoff double for Campbell. Lawson Harrell. Is real. Ground ball to short. Fourth sight. Mississippi State survives. Six to five, the final score. And the Bulldogs will welcome Notre Dame to Starkville next weekend. What a game.